So, uh, that that's it. I was like, I'm for sure quitting after the series. Because um, he said it would get easier after the series. But I was just so done. I'm like, I'm so sick of getting used. And he said a lot of stuff in the beginning. Like he said, you know, he made it seem like I would get a third of the advertisement deals. He also said, you know, that, or he joked about laughing and saying I didn't deserve a raise the first time I asked him, if you remember. He said, ha ha, you think, what'd you think I'd say, that you don't deserve a raise? And then there was, a couple months later, that's, that's exactly what he's saying. That's why I was afraid to ask him the first time. So I was like, alright, yeah, after, after the series, I'm done. So, he gets towards the end of the series, and he calls us all to his house. Because he wants to talk about the video of him fleeing the country. And in my head, I'm thinking, because at this point, Kat is now at my house. And in my head, I'm thinking, this better be more than just saying, show up at my house at such and such time on this day. Because if, that if that's all it is, you could have just texted me that. And then literally, like, an hour or two later, I finally leave. Like, the only information that I needed, because he, what he talked about was, like, who's going to carry my suitcase, who's going to carry his suitcase, because we're going to be filming. But the only information I needed was show up at my house at this time, which is exactly what I was afraid of. So then I'm pissed about that. I'm like, this. <laughs> Why didn't he even just text me that? Why did he need me to come over and sit there for a couple hours just to tell me, Show up at my house at, you know, noon on Sunday or whatever it was. So then I, I was, again, pissed because I was already pissed about getting underpaid. Or, well, in my mind, I was getting underpaid. So then I get home, and I'll admit, I was a douche. I was a douche here, and I, I regret it. But at the same time, one, I feel he kind of had it coming because he was a bit of a douche to me throughout the series. And two... I literally hadn't made up my mind till I told him. So, I get home, I, I legit packed my suitcase, and then I think it was still a few days before we left, and then it comes up to the night before we're leaving, and I have my suitcase packed, ready to go, and he calls me. <laughs> I remember this, he, he called me, and I remember looking at my phone and thinking, mother fricker, like, he needs me to do something. I was like, we're supposed to be doing nothing today. And he freaking like, I'm playing League of Legends with my girlfriend. I'm like, son of a, like, I'm having a good time playing with her. And now he's gonna, he's gonna need me to do something. And I was like, <laughs> and I remember, I remember, I was, <laughs> I, was, I was not happy about this. So I picked up the phone. And I was like, what? And he, he was, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was like, uh, corn. And I was like, yeah, what? Because <laughs> that was not happening. Because I thought I was going to do more stuff. And he was like, are you ready? And at that point, I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Am I ready for what? He's, he needs me to do work. I don't want to do work right now. And I was like, for what? And he's like, well, you know, uh, it's the end of the series. We're about to be in Switzerland, dude. And we're going to be, you know, drinking together and stuff. And I was like, oh, well, that's what he meant. So then I tried to change my attitude a little bit. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. Because, it, I mean, in my head, at this point, I, I was still planning on going. So, you know, then we hang up. And it's, it's where me and Kat, or Kat and I, whatever, are just about to go to bed. And then Kat is obviously upset. And she starts crying a little bit. Cause she doesn't, she doesn't want me to go, you know. Now she's gonna be in the house for a week with my family, who she like just met. It's gonna be awkward, and like you know, we were starting, we were hitting it off pretty well, so she doesn't want me to leave. So she is upset and crying, and you know, I didn't want to go on this trip anyway, because and part of the reason was a little bit of a spite thing, because one another one of the reasons Jesse wouldn't give me a race, because he's like, I'm taking you on this trip, man. So it was just like, I don't even want to go on the trip. Like, it's not like 
you know, a vacation. It's still semi sort of like a business trip for me because, you know, we're still filming and stuff. I mean, we weren't going to film much at all. It, I mean, it, it was just, I, it wasn't a trip that I chose to go on, you know, like I, I would have rather had more money so I can spend the money where I want to go. So I didn't want to go anyway. And here she is crying. She doesn't want me to go. I'm just like... So I'm like, you know, it, it'll be okay. You know, I'll be back in a week. It'll go by fast. You're going to be doing stuff with my family because they had stuff planned. So she's like, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and then we go to bed. And then the next morning I wake up. And it's like... It's like two or three hours before I have to go to Jesse's, and I'm just like thinking in my head. I like look at Cat, and then I like look at my suitcase, and I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. It's like I don't want to do it. Why would I do it if I don't even want to do it? So I start <coughs> writing up a text, you know, in the notepad. Um, of that, I'm not going on the trip, you know, do 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 do. And then I have, I wasn't ready to send it yet, because <laughs> I, st <laughs> I still wasn't sure that I wasn't going. I was just like pretty sure. I showed it like to my parents, and they're like, sounds good to me. And then I showed it to Kat, and she's like, like sounds good to me. And then I, I'm pretty sure I read it again, and I'm like, oh. So I'm like, oh, he. He's probably not going to be happy about this, obviously. And I, I feel like a, a dick. Camera cut off again. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm like... He's going to be pissed. I'm going to feel like a dick. Because that was a dick move. And I'm sorry for doing that. But I literally hadn't decided until just then. So then I hit send. Then I was nervous. Because I'm like, he has to send a text or something. Because like I said, he's good at talking. So I figured he was going to try and talk me into going. What I really thought he was going to do is I thought he was going to like drive to my house and be like, what the heck, man? And try and get me face to face. And then like maybe, maybe half an hour, maybe not even, I don't remember how long it was exactly. He was, he just texted me and said, okay, man, I understand. Um, I wish... I had a little more notice, but I understand. And then he said, we'll talk when I get back. And that was it. I was like, oh, okay. So then, um, he gets back, and he asked me to come over. And he's like, so we're done for good? And I was like, yeah, I think so. I was like, I told you. When I'm making is enough, and I meant it. He's like, all right. So then he he gave me all the money he had owed me because he, you know, we were like backed up a we were like backed up a month, and he always paid me like a month behind because that's like how YouTube pays you. So he, just all the money that you know he owed me, he gave me, and um, and I was getting ready to leave, and he's like, oh well, it was a fun ride and. You know, he hugged me, and I wasn't pissed at this time, so we hugged. And then I walked out the door, and I was, I was just, I was just, I was, I was a little upset. And I remember getting home, and my parents and Kat, they saw me. And they were like, are you okay? Like, like, do you regret quitting already? And I was like, no. And like, I was, I was literally just upset that, like, my friend just didn't seem to care didn't seem to care that I thought he was treating me like a douche and it, it just I just I, I expected more I, I just just hoping that when the quitting was on the line he'd be like oh you know I don't and just maybe he would just give me a raise because it's like, oh, I like working with him and we're friends. And maybe he does deserve more. I said he deserved more at one time, but that wasn't the case. So then I was upset. So, also before I left, I remember he asked me. He was like, well, 
are you going to be in the dock? And I was like, mm, I don't think so. <clears throat> so then, wouldn't you know it, time for the dock comes. So it's time to film the dock. And does he text me? Nope. Yeah, I don't know why. I think he was trying to be a little manipulative. So instead, he got the guy that was filming the dock to text me. And I, I was a little bitter about that because I'm like, really, you you couldn't even ask me yourself. You had to get somebody else to do it. And now maybe, maybe it was this guy's idea and Jesse had nothing to do with it. But I mean, he had to at least get my number from Jesse. And I'm pretty sure Jesse probably had some input on him texting me. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's just that's just what you know I, I thought happened. And the guy was like, you know, blah, 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 we're filming the doc. I just want to do an interview. It doesn't even have to be here. It can be at your house. I think it'll help your channel. And I told him, uh, no. I was like, I'm not really in the mood to help Jesse out right now. Because I feel like he was kind of a dick to me. So, I don't feel like doing it. He's like, oh, no problem. I understand. Like a day or two later, he texts me again. and says, oh, you know, if you want to do this, we'll pay you, I think it was like 500 bucks to do an interview. And, you know, at this point, I was still just upset with the way my friend treated me. So I was like, no. I was like, I'm still upset, and $500 just isn't enough. So no. <clears throat> so he's like, okay, tell me if you change your mind. And then, I forget exactly what happens. I think Jesse texts, or called me, and said like, oh, you know, we've been, we've been friends for a while or something, and, you know, can you really, can you help us with the doc? Blah, blah, blah. And I just, I just ignored it. I was like, no, because he left a voice message. I think something like that happened, and I was like, no. So I ignored it. So then, the doc finished, and it was like a few weeks later, somewhere around three weeks later, and Jesse did call me again. So at this point, I was at the boardwalk with my family and Kat, so I didn't pick up because, you know, the boardwalk's pretty loud. So he leaves a voicemail, and in this voicemail, he was still saying stuff like, because I listened to it later. I, I After he called me with the voicemail, I texted him and said, I'm at the boardwalk, I'll call you back later. So then I listened to the voicemail when I got home, and he was like, oh, you know, we're good friends, I think this is really awkward that we're not talking, you know, something like we should, we should talk and hash things out, I think it would be good for us, my family has been wondering where you're at, the fans are wondering where you're at, and then... I don't know, something, something about the message. And I, I showed it to, I, I let my parents and Kat listen to it, and they agreed. Just something about the message still sounded like he was literally just saying this stuff to try to get me to talk so he could film it and put it in the dock. I, I could be wrong, but that's what it sounded like. And I was like, if he's really just saying this stuff, so that I'll talk for the documentary, like, who does that? So, I mean, I could be wrong. He could have he just meant it and just wanted to talk, but I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> so then I said... So I, I just texted him, because I was like, I was like, all I want is to talk about the doc, I don't want to talk about it. And I remember I... I was going to go out with Kat to go play Pokemon Go. We were going to uh, Glassboro because we were both running low on items. <laughs> so so I was like, I'm not calling him. I'm not. I want to go. I want to go to Glassboro. I want to do stuff that I want to do. And, uh, you know, I'm done doing what he wants me to do. That's why I quit. <laughs> so I texted him and said, mm, 
I don't remember exactly what I said, like, I'm just, I'm disappointed and upset just with the way you acted and the way you treated me. And, you know, I'm not saying I don't want to be friends, but I'm definitely not ready to talk about it right now. And then he said something, and then I was like, or maybe this was all my first text, where I was just like, I mean, you literally laughed in my face when I asked you for a raise, which is something that you kind of joked about doing the first time I asked you for a raise. And then you say that anybody can do my job, and, like, out of all the videos I've, I did, he said that I, he said good job to me maybe, like, twice, and all the other videos were pretty much just like, eh, it was okay, it was fine, and it pretty much sounded like what he meant to say was, like, Sorry about that again, my camera died. Um, so yeah, what it sounded like to me, what he really meant was if I could have filmed it, I would have done a better job, you know, him. And I was just like, you know, it got, it got, it, it was annoying hearing that over and over again. Um, so yeah. I said that, 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 like, you know, he laughed at my face, blah, blah, blah. And then he actually did send a text, a pretty lengthy one, and he did, he did apologize. He was like, I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you weren't needed. You did a really good job on so many shots. Um, you know, and he, you know, it was pretty lengthy. I don't remember exactly what he said. But it was pretty lengthy, and he did he did apologize and say I'm sorry. And I don't know. It's just like at that point I was still pretty mad. Uh, you know, I felt like I was just pretty much like a pawn in his chess game that he was just trying to move forward on. And I was, you know, tired of getting used by him, and then I was, like, upset with the way he acted. So, I really wasn't ready to hear it yet. So, I don't think I replied to that. I just, or maybe I said thanks. I might have said thanks. Um. And then, uh, yeah. That's, that was pretty much it. Then the doc finished. And, uh, yeah, we haven't really, we haven't, uh, we haven't said anything since, since that, since, since he apologized. I don't, I don't really know where I'm at now. But I, that doesn't really matter. So, bottom line is, since you guys want to know why I quit so bad, I mean, you kind of heard the whole story. To me, he was acting like a dick, and just kind of was like, all he cared about was the Psycho series, and he didn't care about anybody else's feelings. It's just what it, what it felt like. And... I, I wasn't getting paid enough because it, it was, you know, no days off, no, uh, no, not being able to plan because no, like, schedule, and just no, like, I'm getting older, like, I need a job that I can rely on and that, you know, I'm going to get a raise in and eventually get a promotion or whatever, and this job was just looking more and more like you're just going to be making this much forever until Jesse doesn't need you anymore. So you're just waiting around for Jesse to improve and get a better job, and then you're done. And then, so I mean, let's say it lasts like five or ten years before he gets like an acting job. Well then, well now I'm like 30 and I'm unemployed and I have to start over at 30. And I was just like, that's not the way I want my life to go. I was like, either I needed to work my way up with him, making more money, or 
And but since that wasn't gonna happen, I just I needed to, you know, I needed to leave, and I just felt that that was what was best for me, because even though he said it was gonna get better or easier, like I said, he said that stuff was gonna happen in the beginning, and it didn't happen. Like like uh, the Rays, for the Rays, we signed a contract for that, like a. Uh, like, I think it was a separate contract, or maybe it was just an addition to the first contract. And, yeah, we both signed a contract. And then when he wanted to take it away, that contract just disappeared. Because it wasn't notarized, so it wasn't really official. And I didn't think we needed official documents, because we're friends. And I didn't think, you know, my friend was going to screw me over, so I trusted him. And, yeah, then that, that, uh, that contract just disappeared. So there's definitely stuff that he said was going to happen in the past that didn't happen. So then I was like, I don't know if I should believe him when he says that it's going to, you know, get better. So, you know, you guys can call me greedy if you want because I wanted more money, which I did. I'm not denying it. I wanted more money. If he had given me more money, I would have stayed. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just felt like it was best for me and I can make what I was making with him at another job. Like, if I had just stayed with the prison, I would have, they gave you a raise every year. So, and I would have been with them for over a year now. So I would have gotten a little raise, and I think I probably would have making close to what I was making with him, and then after another year, then I would have been making exactly what I was making with him. But I would also be getting benefits, I would also have days off, you know, and I would just have a bunch of other stuff too. <clears throat> and, like, I would have something that I could put on my resume that actually had, like, credibility for other jobs if I wanted to move to other jobs. Like, putting that, you know, I film videos of my friend uh, for YouTube. Like, most companies are going to look at that and be like, how, how does that help you with the company we're in now, you know? So it just, just, just didn't seem like the best thing to put on a resume, which is just another negative of it. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the whole story. I think if you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. Um, I can answer more questions in another video if you guys have enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I had money, and he acted like a dick. That's, that's the short, short summary. <laughs> and he said stuff was going to happen that then didn't happen. So... <clears throat> then I felt like I just couldn't really trust him with stuff he was saying anymore. And that's why I quit. I hope you guys are satisfied. And I hope you finally stop asking me. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, if you have any more questions, and if I get enough more questions, I'll do another video answering questions. But for now, I hope this guy's answer is at least most of the questions that you had. And I'll see you next time.